Welcome to 2015. I'm sorry it took me so long to show up, but here I am. At the beginning of this year, I took a break and I apologize for being gone for so long. I don't know if you guys have seen me since before Christmas, which it's a pretty long time in YouTube world. I know, I know, and I'm sorry. Hold on, my face was, Woo! okay, just forget it. But I needed that break, I needed to, um, just to step away from the world and kind of reevaluate what's really important. I got to do a lot of reflection during that time. And so I decided that instead of coming on here and just kicking off tutorials and videos with lots of information and things like that, I kind of wanted to just give you guys a rundown of 2014 and tell you guys about what's going to happen in 2015. So um, first of all, if you're wondering what this is on my head, it's a wig. Uh, it's a U-part wig that I made on New Year's Eve and luckily I just had three bundles sitting around who knew it's actually a combination of some hair that I got from Maven and some hair that I purchased a long time ago from Princess Hair Shop it is the Russian hair I think Princess Hair Shop on top and Maven hair on the bottom and I'm sorry I didn't film a tutorial on it but the next time I make a wig I'll do a tutorial for you guys I use the glue method if you want to know how to make this wig Raven already has a tutorial on it um, on her channel where she just shows you how to glue hair to a cap it's the easiest way to make a wig honestly um, that's all I did was just cut wefts and glue them so if you guys don't see the little banner up there, my birthday just passed. I am 23 years old, and if you guys have not seen me literally shouting it all over my Instagram and my Twitter, um, 23 is the Jordan year, that means the year of greatness. If you don't know anything about Michael Jordan, just remember that Michael Jordan was literally the greatest basketball player of all time. I don't care what anybody says about Kobe, I don't care what anybody says about LeBron, Michael Jordan's the best. End of story. I don't know how you can top 2014, but 2015 has to be awesome, right? I want to thank everybody for the birthday wishes, and um, if you still want to get me gifts, my PO box information is in the description box. So. I didn't really know what video to make to start off the new year. I don't really have anything to talk about yet, um, so I thought that I would do this tag because it would be cool to talk about. This is the uh, about a year ago, year ago tag. Biggest accomplishment. My biggest accomplishment of 2014 would definitely have to be, of course, marrying the love of my life and moving here to Chicago. Um, if you don't know my story or you don't know anything about me and you're new to my channel, thank you for joining. Kind of get you caught up here. Yeah, in 2010, I met an amazing guy. His name was Cameron. Long distance for three years. We got married on February 14th, 2014. That was probably my biggest accomplishment because Within that time frame of getting married and moving and relocating my life, it was probably one of the most difficult things I've ever had to do. Only because it took so much out of me. You know, this was my first time leaving home. This was my first time being away from my family. Um, and I've had to make new friends, meet new people, move to a different state. Basically changed my entire life. Everything about my life completely changed. Everything. I would say my biggest accomplishment is just being able to so quickly adapt to my new environment. I want to say that that's a huge accomplishment because I didn't think I could do it. I had no idea what I was about to get myself into. I had no idea what it was going to be like to be here. So the fact that I'm here and I'm alive and I'm well, you know, it's kind of an accomplishment for me. So kudos to you, Vicky. You did that thing. As a whole, the wedding and the moving process and the honeymoon and all that, all of that to me is the best memory of 2014. I don't know, it was liberating. It, 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 I don't even know how to do it. I, don't, I can't even describe how amazing it felt to get on a plane with my husband and go to a tropical island with my husband and drive across the country with my husband. I don't know, that's, that's the best memory. The best memory of 2014 is just being able to experience all of these things. And I'm so blessed to have experienced all of these things. So February, all last year, February is like, it was a blur, but it's it's a good blur. Biggest obstacle of 2014 was growing up, learning how to come out of my shell. I've done a lot of um, unraveling. 
peeling off the layers. I've had to literally open myself up and be vulnerable to not only my husband, but to people in general, people I don't even know, to you guys on YouTube. I've been introverted and I've been internalizing my feelings and I've been a thug emotionally for so long that I wouldn't let anyone in. And now that I have to let somebody in because I'm married and I can't hold back from him because that's not fair, doing that has opened up a whole new world for me. It's weird and it's been the weirdest obstacle ever because it's like I'm so sensitive now and I cry about things and I'm like emotional and I have to like express myself. It's weird. It's really weird. I hate it. I've hated becoming vulnerable and expressing my feelings and that has been the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. If you know me, you know I don't talk about my feelings. I don't talk about what's going on in my brain. But speaking to somebody face to face about my issues and my problems and my feelings is hard and I've never had to do it but now I have to and it sucks. It really sucks. I've come a long way. And the fact that I'm even able to tell somebody how I feel and be open with myself and be honest with myself, um, definitely been an obstacle, but I've made it through the wilderness and I know I made it through because I didn't know how lost I was until I found you. And you guys have probably noticed that I have been overcoming these obstacles because when I started Vicky Vibes, it was a way for me to learn how to speak openly about my feelings. You guys don't know how much help you've been to me because now I'm able to speak with people about my opinions and my feelings and my thoughts and my ideas without being afraid of them. Not that I was insecure about who I was, I was just afraid to be that. I didn't want anybody to be like, you know, like, did you just tell me how you felt? Now I'm comfortable. Um, I don't have any new skincare items that I've been using this year. I've been using pretty much the same things. The only thing that I've added to it, I've talked about that before, but not really anything that can be called a favorite beauty product. Um, my favorite foundation for this year that I haven't talked about before in previous years would be L'Oreal True Match. It's my first year trying this. And I will say that I really like it because of the change of the climate that I'm in now. Um, it's a lot drier here where I live now than where I used to live. So I have to wear foundations that are a little more forgiving to my skin and not so mattifying and heavy. And um, I've talked about it before, but I really love this foundation. It's been rocking with me all year and I, I, I really like it. So another one of my favorites this year, but it's to be the Anastasia Dip Brow. Um, my first time trying it this year and I really, really like it. Lime Crimes Velveteen in Salem. Lime Crime Serpentina. I've been wearing this color since the beginning of the year. Every time I wear this color, people are amazed at how awesome it looks on me because it looks awesome on me. I got this last year, like in December, but I've been wearing it since then, so it counts as a 2014 lipstick, so. Wet n Wild's 914C Mocha Licious. This has definitely been a favorite of mine. It's a Kylie Jenner kind of color. Uh, Jordana's Rock and Rose lip pencil. I've wore this so many times that I'm completely out of it now and I need to go buy a new one. Um, this is the lip product that I wore in my Kylie Jenner video. My MAC 35 lashes. These lashes right here, they look like this. Let me put it on for you so you can see. Looks like that. I wore these so many times. It's not even funny, like I've worn them out. I need to buy some new ones. This Artiste brush, they are expensive, but they're amazing. This brush is so amazing. I really don't have a lot of makeup products, only because I didn't really buy a lot of products this year. I really just restocked things that I already had. Um, bloopers from 2014. I always put bloopers in my videos. Actually, I don't even delete the bloopers. Whenever something happens in my video, if it's embarrassing or it throws me off or messes me up, I end up leaving it in the video because you guys need to know that I'm human. Favorite mainstream this year would definitely have to be Shirley being egg. I am in love with Shirley. And I watched her before. I've been subscribed to her for a while. But this year, I think I loved her more than ever only because my style completely changed. When I got married, it's like everything about me became more sophisticated. So my style graduated. So even though I am still a tomboy at heart and I still love to, you know, dress edgy, there is that sophisticated feminine side that's trying to come out. And I'm like, wait, who are you? Shirley has kind of unlocked that part of my brain. Um, and her style is very minimal. It's a very minimalistic, 
style. Very, very neutral. She wears neutral colors all the time. Her whole house is white, which is amazing to me. Um, and you guys might notice that more now because I wear like literally all black and white everything. Like black, white, and gray is all I wear. Also, Evelina Berry, if you don't watch Evelina, um, she is definitely one of my favorite YouTubers as far as fashion and DIY goes. Um, she just has amazing style and her video quality inspired me a lot this year. Um, so favorite non-mainstream, of course my YouTube sisterhood, shout out to y'all. Um, but another one of my favorite non-mainstream YouTubers would definitely have to be Sandra Deluxe. I love her makeup. Um, I think it's very different, but I've been watching her since 2013, but I thought I'd just mention her now. And one that I found in 2014 that I'm literally in love with, Battle Lash. And if you're not subscribed to Battle Lash, please go watch her videos. She is hilarious and her hair is gray and you know the gray hair trend was killing this year so you know i was naturally drawn to her because her hair was gray she's awesome she's a canadian youtuber and canadians are awesome for some reason they're just like more awesome than americans i don't know why i don't have any regrets for 2014 everything that happened needed to happen even if it was bad and i always say that i never regret anything in my life even if it's negative um it helps me grow it helps me learn um, any of the mistakes that I've made, I've learned from. Don't get me wrong, there were some things that happened that I really didn't like. Um, I really wish didn't have to happen, but they did in order for certain things to take place. You know, one door closes, nothing opens. I want to know how many times I said or not nah this year because I think I said it maybe a thousand times. I feel like all the phrases for this year are like from songs, like about a week ago, week ago. These hoes ain't loyal. I woke up like this. Those were the most memorable to me. Most embarrassing moment of 2014. I don't know, cause it's not easy to embarrass me. It really isn't, like nothing embarrasses me. I don't know, I don't, I don't get embarrassed easy. 2014 has required me to be very, 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 very open and very selfless. So I've learned a lot of lessons about those things. My opinion is valid. Um, and I have to constantly tell myself that when I'm dealing with relationships and things like that. I always have to remind myself that my opinion is valid. I came into marriage thinking that, you know, he's never gonna understand how I feel about certain things because I'm a girl and he's a guy, so there's no point in me expressing myself. But you have to express yourself. Like, I can't just hold things in. Not to um, create problems. That's something that I've learned not to do anymore is to create issues in my own head before they even happen. And to think positively and to think on good things and to pray. Pray without ceasing because you pray about everything before, like if you get mad about something and you pray about it right when you get mad, it just, it changes your whole perspective on everything. So prayer is definitely something that I've learned to do more often is to pray because you need it when you're dealing with other people. One of my main goals for 2015 is just to grow. I don't really set like physical goals only because I know things can change so quickly. Um, you know, me and my husband, we've set goals like we want to save more money and we want to, you know, build and expand um, financially and expanding mentally and physically. I just want to grow. That's really all of the only goals that I have for this year is just to grow in whatever way that means necessary. So if it's with my YouTube channel or maybe getting a new car, or, you know, moving into a new home or maybe adding on to some things. Whatever is in the plan, expanding is key. I'm really excited for next month, which is my one year anniversary. Um, so I'm excited for my one year because one year being married, I mean, that doesn't sound like a long time, but guys, it went by so fast, like, and I'm really excited. Um, and I'm really excited to go on my vacation because I need some warmth because it's so cold outside, guys, and I'm gonna need something warm in my life, okay? I'm excited about going to Texas for BeautyCon. If you don't know, now you know, BeautyCon is coming to Dallas, and I'm excited to meet all of my favorite people that I watch on YouTube. Hopefully they'll be there. I'm, I'm excited to hang out with the YouTube sisterhood again. That's gonna be awesome. I'm excited to reunite. I'm just really excited for this year, and I'm really excited for the growth that I've been experiencing um, and since I've set that whole foundation of growing and becoming a better person and being a good example for last year, that was kind of laying the foundation for it. This year, I'm going to implement those things that I've learned and be as much of a help and an example and a guide for the people who look up to me, um, not just on YouTube, but in real life too. Cause I mean, it's one thing to just come on here and just say that I'm somebody who I am in real life has to be an example 
of what I'm talking about and what I'm preaching. You know what I mean? You have to practice what you preach. So one thing that I'm going to need from you guys is I'm going to need you guys to tell me what you want to see. Because I mean, not only is this about me being creative and having an outlet to do what I love to do, but I want to help you guys out too. So you guys let me know what you would like to see more videos of. Let me know what I can do to make my channel better in the comments. And I will try to do that for you as best as I can this year. I promise I'm going to get better at being more consistent with my videos and my content and my quality. I want it to all glow up. Okay. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you're a new subscriber, I hope that you are, um, you know, happy to be here because I am. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.